Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to my channel. You know what it is, Deb Chanel's 48 Squirrel. Please don't forget, I want you to like my videos. I want you to share my videos. I want you to comment, and I definitely want you to subscribe to the channel. That channel, again, is Deb Chanel's 48 Squirrel. Okay, a lot of people say Deb, Shane. It's Deb Chanel. Please don't forget that L. After that E in Chanel. Dale Chanel for this world. Okay. But anyway, getting into this review that I'm going to be doing on this new hot reality show that's portraying this summer on the networks, especially really VH1. Okay. It's none other than Lil Kim with all her many faces. Beautiful. Don't matter. Whatever it is. However people think about it. She's still wonderful. And she's brought her on. Two of her other friends. And I'm like, one of them she should have just kept and got the other group member of TLC. If Left Eye was still alive, I know Left Eye would have been picked over Chile. But anyway, this new reality show is mainly focused on um, Little Kim. But she has her sidekicks, which is Maya, the artist, performer, as well as Chile, better known with the group TLC. Okay, they're in this reality show of it's supposed to be setting sail for the ultimate Caribbean vacation filled with hilarious antics, emotional breakthroughs, and spicy romances. Okay, the women go on a sex, uh, excuse me, I've said sex, but I meant to say self exploration. Now, if they're doing sex behind the scenes on that boat and everywhere else they float to, that's their business, okay? And I'm sure they're not going to show it on camera because VH1 got it like that, okay? They just want drama, drama, drama. So, <laughs> they, like I said, they're going on a self-exploration of sisterhood while being glamorized by the seas and all the entertainment they can get their hands on, okay? Through the high seas of the Caribbean. And <clears throat> they were said to have visit um was it Rihanna at her little Caribbean island, but I guess that's going on into the third episode. Cause I don't think they're showing but three. Uh, that's all they got posted on the VH uh, one website of you know her show, her different episodes. So she only got three episodes. So check them out. I'm gonna try to be as fair as I can with this review. But Kim gonna shine because I like little Kim. I like that color. Uh, what do you call it? complexion she was and i love my my series like she just don't age but that damn chilling chilling ah she looks like she don't broke and i mean not just broke facially broken spirit then we got um what is that who is that mel b no name but that's simone b i'm sorry then you got tiffany right there um uh, hello pretty self and then you got um i think this is v vena e is who they calling her and of course, you got Charlie DeFranco, and uh, that's it of the cast. So you had Charlie, you had Lil Kim, you had Chili, Maya, Vina E, and B. Simone, and Tiffany. Okay, so that's all the little things they got going on, uh, the cat part of the cast members. But uh, getting back to, like I said, uh, what's her name? God, we just left a picture. Uh, Chili. I don't know what she got something stuck up her behind or something because she just giving me the blues. Every time they try to have a conversation with her, she having it with little Kim. She bringing all this depression drama. And Kim was just looking like, let's get, uh, let's have fun. Let's get fantastic. Let's get beautiful. And just met rock this girl trip. And everybody's playing their part except for, uh, Chili. I'm like, girl, you should have had, uh, Damn, it's a shame that left I had to leave. I know that would have been your first choice. That would have been your first choice. But you should have probably stuck with T-Bars or something. Cause Chili is just giving me nothing but grandmama old bitter teas. I don't know who hurt her or whatever. She keeps saying she won't love, but all these men come for her. And, you know, they got wealth on their own success or whatever they're doing for us. They chosen career field. And, you know, she was on several... Um, Shows trying to find love and stuff, she still come up empty handed. And she come talk, she got bad service, you know, she can't get in touch with her son. Damn, your son, damn near grown. He hell he is grown. He got his daddy there in case anything happened. Dallas Austin, did you forget about him? He is a, a good parent as well. Y'all co-parenting shit. I, I, 
Now, like, if, where your mama at? You should be worried about your mama, your dog, your cat, something like that. Okay, but you shouldn't put them in a kennel or have somebody take care of them. And then your mama, you know, she probably said, girl, go go on a trip. You, 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 you set sails in the open sea. Maybe you'll find a little about that, but you need to get yourself together. I'm like, you know, she's, her body is very tight. And, you know, she's showing her age because black usually don't crack. But I don't know. It just seems like Chili's facial expressions is just. <laughs> it's just giving me total checked out. You know what I'm saying? On everything. Now, Maya, she giving me radiant beauty, poise, fountain of youth, tease all day long. Okay? But that damn chili, she just like, I don't know, a plastic puppet or something. I, 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 I'm not feeling her. I'm like, can we just, uh, you see these women right here and Char Charlie, they having fun in the sun. They ain't caring about nothing. You know, I'm that beautiful boat. You know that? Forget boat. Dig it. That's a yacht. Okay, a three hundred three hundred thousand dollars yacht. You should be having fun in the sun, playing with every kind of man you could find up on that beach. That was heterosexual. You know what I'm saying? I look down. She doing that darn thing. She having fun. She making money at the same time. That girl got it going on. That might come the frog because I was trying to pretty much drag Chili, drag her out the the yacht and and give her somewhere a, a boat, not a boat, but a uh, a plane or jet to come take her off the island because she ain't doing good. She's not doing good at all. She's just act, acting all temperamental to what she can't do. And look at the dress she got on. It's like grandmama dress going to a, a I don't know, a, 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 a Bible convention or something. Look here, but I just want to give you a little taste of life because, honey, you, you, you're like a vampire. You're being drained completely dry of all your blood. All right, and there go little Cam, honey. Got a little dunk in the trunk. And then you got Maya posing. Oh, I don't know, just looking good. Then you got Chili Snow there, like she got a damn migraine headache or something. I'm like, girl, get a life. Get off the camera. Please stop filming her. Give me Maya. Ooh, look at them shades. Look at that body. I'm like, oh, give me all of that. Okay, gloriousness. Okay, give me your Kim and um Simone B. That's right, toot it up. Yes, fun in the sun. You got chili just sitting there like, but girl, you already dog. You ain't like you light skin or something. You need a tan. You already tan hell. Get up and, and, and you know do some things. Then they had this little. It wasn't a real contest, but they were trying to do shots and you know them little glasses with some very strong alcohol in them and to get the, the juices flowing or whatever. I guess you make you a little bit more comfortable. And your surroundings and everybody taking shots off their little men that laid down for them, you know, to uh drink and, and take the bottle up with their lips and stuff like that. Just having fun in the sun, just having fun in the sun. Then you got uh chill time out. Oh, I can't do that. I can't. I'm like, girl, were you a part of TLC? That's all y'all did was sell sex. Sex, sex, sex. You remember that? The red light special. You remember all that? That bumping and grinding ain't too proud to beg. I mean, is any of this ringing a bell with you, Chilla? I'm just trying to figure out, girl, what is the hell wrong with you? I mean, it gave me total disconnect. But uh, she gonna drink it, uh, drink her little shot that only had water in it, okay? She gonna drink it from a straw, like the man too filthy for her to even. I'm like, I'm like, uh, uh, this can't be the same girl that was a part of TLC group. Can't be the same girl. You see that dress she got on? I don't know where that dress come from. It's like church choir dress or something. Then she got this uh, uh gold plated uh, thing around her neck. I'm like, oh, girl, you're giving me just too much of the wrong energy. I can't take it. Oh, no way. Who give me Maya all day? She's just showing, flaunting her body, getting into the sun. And, you know, she's kind of tan. She's more lighter than chili, per se. But they got the same uh, nice, fair complexion, good hair, how they say. That's straight and waving. No perm needed. Okay. Got a little Kim out right there doing her darn thing. And then, oh, she's sitting up there, mean and chili. Trying to get her a tan like she uh cast for the ghost or something. She need to tan up. Girl, you already brown skin. Don't get that up. You know, why you want to go darker than what you is, okay? Then you'll be trying to lighten yourself up. Anyway, and getting off chilling, because she just, I ain't going to talk about chilling no more, because that was just, that, she gave me too much of the wrong thing, okay? It's just like you get an order of something very appetizing and it come out looking like a pure bag of feces, okay? Ah, I just 
was a poor bag of shit. You know what I'm saying? That's how uh Chili was giving me. Like, take it back. Take it back. I don't want it. I don't want it. I'll just eat somewhere else. That's, how, that's the thing that Chili was giving me. And I was so disappointed. Because she's, uh, she wasn't more lively, lively, uh, lively, damn, what I'm trying to say, livelier. Yeah, you go, livelier. Uh, then, um, what's her name? Left eye. You know, nobody can't be left eye. You know, she was just spontaneous all over the world. All over the place. You know what I'm saying? Anywhere she went, she was just showing who she was and what she was about. Okay, I was about about it. I was really was about about it. But, uh, you know, Chili was trying to be all this and that and stuff. You know, giving me, uh, I didn't know. And then you had t Bob. You know, she was getting us that real sexy girl type thuggish thing going on. So I could do that with, you know, and she's still having fun. You could tell She's up in age now, very well matured, and she's doing selective things. But I'm like, girl, you should have came on the trip and left Chili there. Left her there. Because she talking about she met her soulmate, and then something happened to the soulmate, mate, and she don't think she's ever going to find another. But if she do, I don't know what she's going to do with that because she lost the first soulmate. She probably won't lose the second soulmate. You know, I, I don't understand. I mean, I hope so. she wasn't talking about Ursa, though they were just throwing a little subliminal here. Um, uh, male, not male. Why well, I'm calling her male? Be one of the plush girls on Spice Girls. Damn, Simone B is what I'm talking about. She said, "I follow you, honey." On uh, I guess the social media, uh, platforms. And she said, "You had said something about your soulmate. You lost your soulmate. Go and dish the tea." And she trying to add coy, many chili, and was saying, "I, I might well get in the water." I'm like, "No, nah, honey, the water don't want you." <laughs> The man didn't want you in the water, don't want you either. Because you just drive up. You two through. Okay, from the, from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. Because you ain't acting right. This is supposed to be a fun for your vacation. All thing we get is drab, uh, disconnect, not wanting to be there. Worry about your your, your son. Tell him you ain't getting no reception. You can't call your son. I don't know if I want to hear from you. Okay, they want you. They probably beg you to get on from wherever you were. Get on that show that Kim trying to produce on her own, but she had to have you know a little bit more. Um, what do you call it? Get two more emphasis people, relevant people that we hadn't seen in a while. So that I guess she had to just go. God, can you find me if you ain't even got got Chili on the board? Period. It would have been fine with just plain old the same cast you had as well as Maya. Because giving me all all good teas. Okay, everybody having fun. Everybody doing their thing. Everybody releasing, releasing negative energy running around there. And I ain't chilly just sitting up there talking about what she don't have. Like, girl, I'm tired of you. You don't been on too many reality shows. Too many. And then you out there in the industry. And you, I know you probably knew somebody from way back when. That you could have hooked up with, but I mean, you got you. I don't know what you want, girl. I don't know what you want. I don't know what you need. Cause you talking about Usher, you better be glad the Lord bless you not to be with him. Cause if he's sitting up there allegedly holding on to a, a secret of you know him kind of messed up downstairs, you know, got these diseases or this disease he can't. It's not curable. He's not protecting himself with you. And doing it all wrong, girl, you better be blessed you didn't catch nothing, okay? And just be like, uh, 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 ooh, glad, you know, I dodged a bullet there. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you're talking about Dallas Austin, I don't know. You know, evidently, if you ain't got with them back in this time frame, it's not meant for y'all to be together. It's just meant for y'all to be co-parents, you know what I'm saying? And be done with it. Hey, you didn't get married to him the first time. I, you know, what, what? I don't know. I, I mean, them the only two I can get. guess that uh, Simone B was probably teasing her about because she said, oh, you trying to give me confessions? <laughs> I'm like, oh, Lord. I know she ain't talking about Usher. Usher, she should have, uh, like, thank you, Lord, for letting me dodge that bullet. Thank you for not letting me uh, catch what he got. Thank you, Lord, for preserving me for somebody else. That's what she should be doing, packing her blessings and having fun. Now she's talking about, oh, I'm celibate. Oh, I don't drink anymore. Uh, well, then what you hooking up with Lil' Kim? Because she ain't nothing but a little party animal. She want to have fun. She want to release all her inhibitions. She wants to just be cleansed and just have fun, okay? Whatever that means on her radar. But you bringing everybody else down for hell. I ain't even with y'all. You bring me down. I'm like, uh-uh. What? Where the bar at? Let me go to my uh, cabin. Let me just reflect, regroup again because she's just doing too much. I mean, she need a counselor on set or she need a counselor on the 
cruise with y'all going uh, to all these exotic islands and, and places you've never been before. The only thing she got to do is cry and, cry and whine about she can't reach her son. Trust and believe if it was an emergency and you needed to reach somebody, they got ways. Where, you know, they got reception on some type of uh, technology, phone, CV, uh, what do you call it, a CV radio, whatever. Because they had to keep up with the waves out there in the oceans. And, and, and they got to keep up with people to tell them when weather coming bad, what to look out for, this, that. So they have, they have for you to, if it's an emergency, for you to get in touch with your son or your, uh, your son's father or, or whomever. Okay, your mother priest or whatever. They have ways, Chili. But for you talking about, I'm just here for my son. Your son don't want you around him 24-7. He a grown man, okay? He's out there experiencing life, trying to make his mistakes, trying to find his way through, okay? And they got nothing to do with you because he brought you somebody home saying, this is going to be my wife this and third. I can see you using the stank face. Like, I don't want her to, I don't want her for you. I don't, you know, like, you forgetting how young you was. Like, girl, you only had one child. And you acting like, uh, you can't even function without being in, out of his sight. You know, he ain't no infant. Girl, I, I'm tired of talking about chilling. I hope she pep up for uh, season, I mean, episode two, because she just buried me on this one. Okay. Oh, Lord. Mm. When is season two? Okay. Episode two. I'm sorry. Did she might get a new season, but you need to drop Chili for real when she moving to her season two. We don't need her. We need another whole cat. You keep Maya. You keep Mayo B. I kind of like her. Uh, the other ones ain't rubbing that far on me, but maybe I'll grow to like them before season three. Damn, I said, you might get one, two, three. I'm speaking in into uh, fruition, Ken. You might get a season three, girl. But anyway, I meant episode three. But uh, yeah. You need to dump, dump uh, a chili in my book for now. But, you know, I'm going to put it on hold. I'm going to put it on hold. I'm going to see what episode two give me. And if she's still giving me the same funky face, uh, uh, disconnect type of attitude for the negative. Uh, we, mm -mm, mm -mm, I probably won't even mention her, but she's just doing the same thing she did on episode one. So if you want to see episode one or how I feel about chili when I'm uh, reviewing episode two, then you, you can see why I ain't mentioning her because she's doing the same shit on episode two. And I, I, I ain't here for it because there ain't, ain't no kickies in that. Ain't no uh, drama in that. Ain't no uh, likableness in that. I, I, I can't do it. I just can't do it. But episode two come on on the 22nd, which is Monday coming. So we're going to tune in for that. But I, then the crew she had, oh, she had this last guy. Uh, that was, you know, oh, he looked at all Caribbean looking. I don't know if he was Caribbean, Dominican. I don't know what he was, but she saved him for last. He's supposed to be their entertainment consultant where he get them to do all this new stuff, things they haven't tried before. He tries to introduce it to them and this, that, that. You know, he a little party person. That, he don't put all these events together and they just supposed to follow suit and, you know, enjoy themselves. But he was a cute little something. But the first episode, season one, episode one was called The Jump Off. And uh, he entered, she introduced some last. And she was uh, like playing with the crew and her friends. And she had that last one she introduced. She was like, kind of like, I'm going to sell him to you, Chili. You know, and Chili looking all crazy and stuff. Like, I know she ain't trying to sell me. Well, somebody needs to set you up, honey, and have a pastor there, minister. Uh, priest, whoever you want to, uh, whoever you want to officiate your wedding ceremony, because you don't need a wedding, you just need to go on to where we can put you together, let you marry that man, that you consummate with him, and just go on about your life, because I, I don't know what you want, a multi-zillionaire, forget billionaire, millionaire, you into the zillionaire with you, for you to have, I mean, I understand, you want a man, or you want a, 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 a robot of a man. I mean, I understand. You're putting all these emphasis on what you want. And girl, it's, it's too much. But anyway, he was a hunk of a man. And Kim, look, Kim had, well, they insinuated that look, Kim had put some condoms with some lube uh, in her room and stuff. She's like, I don't, know, I don't even have sex anymore. I haven't had sex. And I like sex. I like, girl, please, the right man, come along and, and, and say, 
uh, little sweet nothings and he's your type and you think you got you going yes you gonna you going to go with the mumbo lumbo is what I call it okay you gonna be shaking that bed from left to right to right to left it's gonna be hopping off the floor okay so don't 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 play with OGs here chili we know honey and you already like you're salivating over the thought of having a man but I just love sex I love that I know can we see you on the red light special. Okay, when you was a part of the group, TLC, we all three members, okay? We know what you was about, babe. So don't fool nobody because you're fooling yourself and that's why you're trying to be miserable on this first episode that I'm seeing of you. You act like you're an old grandma running out there. And I guess old grandpa is going to come walking past you and you gonna, y'all going to walk with two wheelchairs or two canes or something. I don't know what you are. You're just giving me just total negativity. I don't like to be I'm not a negative person. I'm positive, colorful, and, and delightful. And you just bringing me all the way down. Even my secret cool I'm drinking. You just it, ah but anyway we're gonna move on to that. But like I said she was just a little wet uh cloth that wouldn't dry up for nothing. And uh you know they had a lot of little scenes where like I said they were taking shots off guys uh, they were watching the Kim. She went up in this jet rider or jet something, jet water ski. They want a jet water ski. That's what it's on. That you ride like a motorcycle. But now nah, this one you, you uh go up in the air with, like uh, shoot you up like a firecracker. It's not a firecracker, but you know one of them things that shoot up in the sky. Uh, anyway, I can't think of the name, but y'all get and I have my visuals for y'all. But she was doing some exciting stuff. And then she came out in that hot ass sun with some gold tone boots. And like I said, uh, Vina E had even said it too. They designable. <laughs> oh, Maya had said, hell, what I'm saying. I don't know what Kim going with them boots, but she rocking them and they designable. So, woo! It is it, it, what it would kind of like. Is she going on the moon or something? What is she doing? This is, ain't no outfit for that kind of um, living. What you doing out there on the beach, Kim? What the hell are you doing? But then, you know, that was just me. But, you know, it worked for her. She got it all together and stuff. But it was just crazy, 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 crazy. Everybody having fun. Except little dry puss over there. Okay, that's what I'm call, probably calling. Chili the dry puss. But uh, Maya, I tell you, she's something else. She's, uh, she has really preserved herself real well. And the rest of the other women have, too. You know, they turning up. They having fun. They, uh... Doing the things in the sun, they just shine. And then they had this last scene where they was uh going on. They had put like a a slide uh on the, that was attached to the side of the uh alongside the rails of the boat, and everybody was supposed to basically like slide down and, and release all their fears and inhibitions and stuff into the ocean. You know, like cleansing themselves. Everybody, you know, first they were like, uh, "Chill, you go first. Chill, like I ain't doing it. Not me first. I mean, you know, I'm like. Ah! You know, all crazy, like she all jumpified or something. But everybody went at the end. Look, Kim went, you know, doing her little thing. Because first she said, My girl trip, I don't know how to do this. But you know, she's just funny like that, just crazy, you know, doing a little kiki ha ha thing. She went and did her thing, and then got chill up there to do it. Chips were like, I, 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 I'm scared, I can't do it. I'm like, Girl, I, if I'm 51, I know you got to be my age or at least 48 or something. You're talking about you scared. You scared, girl. Uh-uh. If you girl, uh-uh, we ain't even gonna go to it. Cause like I said, she was getting on my nerves. She wanted a drop. I don't know what she wanted. I ain't gonna say drama feel, cause that's when you in odds with somebody. But she just wanted a pity party. That's what mother boy. She wanted a pity, pity party and to listen about all her stuff that ain't happening for her. And she can't talk to certain people about it. You know, she had to talk to somebody in the industry that could relate. You know, a kid was, you know, saying, Y'all understand what you're talking about. Yeah. You know, I'm like, well, that's why we need balance. We got three of y'all in the industry, somewhat. And then the other three are just good friends or whatnot. So, that, I mean, it, it really balanced, you know, it, it really balanced. Some of them keep them balanced of the real world, how people really see you, you know, coming from a friend standpoint. And then you got the other two telling you what is expected in the industry if you still want to be in it and this, that, and third. But, you know, mine was like, hey, I'm an independent contractor. I do say what whenever I feel like it, Okay. And that's just how it is. I ain't well known like I used to be because I ain't got no big machine behind me pushing all these things. I'm doing it myself. I'm directing. I'm the uh, entertainment. I'm the booking agent. I'm the flight attendant. You know, all that stuff she gave me. I'm like, I don't, I don't do your entrepreneurship. Do it well, girl. It looks good on you because it looks, she looks well rested. 
she like I said, she don't look like she aged. She can go back to high school, really. Okay, that's what she's giving me. You know, the looks that she was giving me throughout episode one. But you know, it was just like real wild and crazy. Everybody enjoying themselves, except sour puss over there. A pity party puss, I should call her. Pity, 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 party eater. Not a party eater pussy. Okay? But anyway, that's just how we was. And um that's where we are with this girl trip scenario. I think uh, Kim definitely did the darn thing. Personally, I think she could have carried the show by herself and just introduced her friends as she was going on her own cruise. But, you know, it is what it is. She wanted to uh, bring, you know, some of her friends uh, that are in the industry, let them make some money, and let them collaborate. So that's what it basically was, but... I don't need no pity party. I don't want to be looking at no pity party because everybody have problems. Everybody have concerns. And I just want to see people living their best life. You know, whatever little life they got uh, to live. And, and, and you got a, a full paid vacation for, what, a month or a filming. Or I don't know how long it took them to film this three-part episode. Um, but, you know, at least it was a nice vacation. Even if it was a month or three weeks or two weeks, it, at least it was nice and it was paid for. And you had everything at your fingertips that you could possibly want. And living on a $300,000 yacht during the whole time. Well, I don't know if I want to be on water like that. I don't care what kind of accommodations you done gave me. I need my feet to be on dry land <laughs> after the third day. I, I, I'm pretty much over the water scene and all this other stuff. Cause damn, a beach is a beach. I don't care. You can have a certain scenery or whatever, certain sunlights, whatever, diversity, culture, things you can learn about uh, people and the languages and stuff like that and the food. But after three days, I, I'm done. I'm done. I can't do it. Put me back on the land. Let me go on about my bed. Let me get in a car, boat. I mean, a boat, but books. Uh, train, whatever, okay? I, I need to be back on land. But that's just me. But like I said, I really enjoyed the girls' cruise. I didn't really think I would because it didn't look appetizing or tantalizing to me. But I just thought about it and I ran across somebody's video uh, feed and, you know, I, I looked at it on my phone. I realized, oh, okay, I can do this. I can do this. I can deal with these players. Um, but I cannot do chili. I cannot. We need to X her out. Hopefully, you know, if you get a season two, um, look, Kim, um, pick up some more people that need to be exposed, <laughs> okay? To maybe further their career. Almost like a re-educating people on who you were in the industry and what you're doing now. We don't need chili to come. Keep Maya. I like Maya. And I like your other uh, friends. But uh, you got, mm -mm, got chili. She, she ain't ready. She ever did, like, something is definitely wrong in her life. And she needs to seek counseling and, and, and do something, you know, about getting her happiness back. Because she don't seem happy at all. I don't care what she tried to say. She had peace. And, you know, her, her body's always been in shape. She's always been a healthy eater. Kudos to her for that. Always been an avid exerciser. Kudos twice times for that. But, you know, the search for love is like she's broken. She's empty inside. And only the heavenly father can feel that and add on to you all right but girl girl okay that's all i had for this um review of this show uh hope kim gets a season two and three i don't think i could take 10 of them but you know if she can get a good seven that's good that's very well but if she just get three under her belt of uh, three seasons that she'll put some coin in her well not no coins honey it should be some dollars some backs you know what i'm saying in her bank account for her and her daughter all right peace and blessings to you all i will be reviewing the next one i don't know if i'll get it on that particular day it shows it might be that weekend but either or you, i got you i'm committed to doing that for you please remember to subscribe hit that like button hit that like button hit that like button uh and share my videos, okay? You could com comment if you want to. That's cool. I do uh, let you know that I acknowledge your comment. And I may agree with you. I may not. You know, hey, everybody have an opinion. Hey, I, I express my every time I get on the tube. And if you're around me, you know I express my opinion too. Only when asked. Only when asked, though. Unless I'm, like I said, unless I really feel something passionate about some, what somebody's doing or saying, then I may give you my two cents without you offering it. Usually, 
I, I kind of stick out of people's business because what I feel may not be what you feel and you're ready to hear what I feel. And I, I just tend to live life that way. I, I let people approach me to ask me what they think. Then I go and get them because, you know, you ask me now. So I'm going to give you what I need because I might have to ask you, do you really want my opinion? And if I reiterate it back to you, then you're going to get it full blown with no chaser, locked, loaded, and ready to spray. Okay. But anyway, that's all I have. Check me back for another video, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.